If you're going to build the next Twitter or Foursquare, you're going to need lots of databases. Well, we're going to talk to Zaround about how to do that right now. Hi, I'm Razi. I was brought in to uh, lead the company from our telco origins and move it into the cloud and serve these uh, great new technologies for Web 2.0 companies in a need for a flexible database. In practice, you take a database, you run it, and you want it at the end of the day to make it highly available or to make it scalable. That may seem very simple in a very normal standard case in your private data center, but when you take it to the cloud and you try to stretch it and make it available for users worldwide, it doesn't seem as simple as it may, may be. Actually, it's not even doable. Uh, Surround is a SQL database end-to-end. -end. We brought in our telco origins into the cloud, and now what we're doing is we're exposing the core capability of a NoSQL underneath the hood being able to stretch and handle large amounts of data and scale them wherever we need to scale them with the high availability built on top of it. And now offer it to any users running their MySQL applications running on the cloud. But when you take a, an instance and you build a, uh, a database on top of it and now try to make this database in multiple replicas and try to move data around between the replicas and scale them and stretch them as they move along, uh, that's somewhere between uh, totally undoable to very complex to do. And this yeah. is exactly where we step in. Underneath the hood, we have a very scalable database and infrastructure that handles the multiple machines and the multiple uh, data stores around where they are. They could be in a single data center, they could be in multiple data centers. Actually, our cloud agnostic approach can enable you to run your databases in multiple cloud vendors at the same time. So we are a cloud agnostic, non-vendor sticky type of database as a service solution. Uh, so you can create a database in Amazon and then make a DRP copy in Rackspace and have a copy running in Europe and have a copy running in Latin America and sync them all at the same time, which would be extremely complex if at all doable, even if you wanted to focus on Amazon only or Rackspace only. So that's a very unique proposition. Uh, that looks as, as simple as it sounds. Basically, when you walk into get into our, our GUI, when you drop down the drop list and it, it asks you where do you want your database to be created or imported, it gives you the list of options anywhere in the cloud, anywhere in the world. I should say cloud or cloud provider, it's kind of mix and match. You pick the cloud provider that you want, you pick the, the function that goes with it, whether you want replication there, you want distribution there, you want high availability, you click submit, and then from this point in on, depending on the size of your data, if you're not already running on our service, this is the, the, the sheer limitation of, you know, of, of nature to move the bytes from your store into our store, and from this point in on, this is a done deal. Yeah. We're working on, on uh, supporting most public common interfaces out there, stacks in, out there. So interfaces is currently, uh, on our radar, we started exploring what are the issues there to us have us support part of the stack. And naturally, like we've supported LAMP and other stacks, we would support OpenStack. We see it as a strategic uh, partner going forward.